In the past 24 hours or so, uh, Just Stop Oil activists have taken it upon themselves to spray orange powder all over Stonehenge, and they've also now broken into Stansted Airport. Well, they painted several private jets with orange paint after breaking in with a wire cutter. Uh, they claim Taylor Swift's jet landed just hours beforehand. Yes, the protest group have warned there could be more targets this summer. Now, both Rishi Sunak and Keir Starmer have criticised their actions on X, on social media. Uh, I think uh, Rishi Sunak called them a disgrace and Keir Starmer called them pathetic. But let's debate now whether Just Stop Oil should be prescribed, forbidden. Uh, let's uh, join with the political commentator, Benedict Spence, who thinks they should be, and the senior meteorologists at the British Weather Services, Jim Dale, who thinks they shouldn't. Excellent. Two uh, sides. Absolutely. Benedict, let's start with you. Why should they be? I think this has long since crossed over the bounds from what people might consider legitimate protest. Um, I think the you know, the incident with Stonehenge, I don't really care that people say, oh, well, it's only cornflower, whatever it is, it'll wash off really easily. This is an international monument. This is deep history. This is the last sort of echo from time of human beings who don't actually have a voice anymore beyond the remnants that they've left us. It is uh, something for all of humanity and for people to sort of set the precedent that it's acceptable to attack it, even in a very minor way. I think is is unacceptable. But when it comes to the question of Stansted Airport, well, then you're actually you're talking about a, a security threat. Actually, you cannot have uh, what, whatever it is that you think your, your protest is, whatever, however well intentioned you think it is. At the point at which you start, uh, you know, trying to trespass, break and enter into an airport um, or interfere with people's jets, you know, no matter how rich they may be, whatever you might think about them, that is a security threat to individuals. That is a security threat on a broader level. Uh, we all know about the levels of security that are applied at airports for very good reason. Um, if you think that you can flout those rules for your your personal sort of pet um, uh, project, I'm afraid you've got enough of the thing coming. You know, if this was another group that had other sort of political minds, let's say it was um, a Gaza protesters or, or something like that, I think people would yeah. be absolutely livid. And I think that we allow these people, because environmentalism is seen as this morally good thing, I think we've allowed these people far too much leeway in getting well, away with their Well, let's put your points, Benedict, to, um, to Jim. I mean, Benedict there, he sounds entirely reasonable. How can you possibly argue with that? Well, the, the, uh, good afternoon to the pair of you. Um, the, the actual question here is, 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 should we essentially ban um uh JSO from uh, existence in other words making them into terrorists i think that's what the what the the question is they're not terrorists we if we go back 100 years or so and talk about the suffragettes we've got a general election coming up very shortly in which uh millions upon millions of women are going to be voting Jim, the, the suffragettes, suffragettes killed baby. people they set off bombs they exploded they tried to kill the prime minister they killed citizens in this country they were terrorists well, you could argue that, and Emily's sitting next to you with a vote coming up in a couple of Thanks weeks' Thanks to the time. suffragists, Fact not remains, the suffragettes. Come, come, let me speak. Let You've me got speak. him on his... Uh... The, the, element, the, the elephant in the room here, the big elephant in the room, is climate. That is what they're trying to, to, to bring to the attention of. Now, I don't condone the way that they're doing it. I think, tactically, they're all wrong. Jim, Make sorry, if you're clear, comparing them to the really suffragettes, Starmer. do you think that it would be entirely reasonable, as the suffragettes did, to plant bombs in people's homes and transport networks to blow no, things up to kill that, people? Tom, Is that what you're that justifying here? Yeah, stop, come up with your loaded comments, because they're, 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 they're just pathetic actually But you just there. justified you know that action. You know what the suffragettes' purpose was. Their tactics may, may and certainly were at times wrong, but nonetheless, they've got us to where we are today. We need to get to the same place as far as climate is concerned. If you keep your eyes down, wide, shut, then you will, mm. you will not have seen what's going on around the world in terms of, in terms of the, 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 the heat and the, the floods that are going on. Okay, OK, not in the UK too much, but everywhere else. It's happening right in front of your eyes, and you are just ignoring that big elephant that sat behind you. And we're talking about powder paint. I OK, OK, um, let's bring Benedict back in. I guess the argument is that it would be a bit extreme uh, to ban them outright. I think, I mean, you want to take the sort of the suffragist slash suffragettes argument. The end goal for both, <laughs> both uh, wings of the movement, if you like, 
was the, the democratic empowerment of half of the population. That's not an extremist perspective. I think Just Stop Oil and Extinction Rebellion and all of these organizations, their attitude towards climate change is extremist. Their solutions to climate change are extremist. Everybody can have a position on the environment and reckon, recognize that there are several different routes that you can go down that do not involve, for instance, the, the sort of the sweeping decimation of energy policy, which is ultimately what they're asking for. And that will make people uh, a lot poorer in the short term. It will increase poverty in the short to medium term. So That's actually, I don't think these right. are things Let I don't think that these yeah, are things look, that can be compared. You okay, can't a, final, say that, a final word to Jim. All, you just wanted to come back yeah, on that. All of this, all of this, it will make you poorer. I'll tell you what, it will make us dead if we don't do anything about it. We've seen what's going on around the world. It's getting worse and worse and worse. These people who, who generally speak on the right of politics, it's just missing it completely, making their excuses up as the climate ramps and will continue to ramp. I, I you know, we, we can talk about powder paint till the cows come okay. on. But the real, real extremes here are coming in the form of climate and they're being missed for political reasons. OK, well, thank you very much indeed, Jim Dale and Benedict Spence. Uh, good stuff.